Hi everyone, my name is Enes and this is Mason. And today we're in Park City, Utah and about to tour this incredible mountain estate right behind me. A lot of celebrities rented this home over the years, including Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. And I'm not surprised because it's one of the best ski and ski out mountain estates we have here in the city. Stats on the house, we got nine bedrooms, 14 baths, 18,695 square feet of interior space, built on a 4.6 acre lot, this property is currently valued at $17 million and you can take one fourth ownership of this home for $4,250,000. I'll explain how that works later in the video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank Picasso for inviting us out here and allowing us to tour their amazing listing. <coughs> now, let's begin. The house is situated on a 4.6 acre lot. We have the private driveway coming down from the street level. And right here we have the guest house, two bedrooms, one bath, three car garage, little over 2000 square feet. Unfortunately, we cannot tour the guest house because it's currently occupied. And we have the driveway taking us up to the motor court. Fun fact, this entire driveway is actually heated. So during the winter season, you never have to shovel any snow. As we're coming up to the motor court, we can actually get a really good look at the exterior architecture of this home. It's beautiful. We have a massive motor court here, carport on this side, kind of another wing of this house on this section, three car garage, really nice peaceful setting over here, super private. We're surrounded by nature, snow everywhere. I mean, it's a really cool setting. Now let's talk about the exterior of this home. We have a lot of exposed structural elements on the exterior and those structural elements are also exposed on the interior as well. A lot of metal plates, turnbuckles, really unique architecture. And I think it goes really well with the landscape of Park City. A lot of windows bringing natural light in. And we have the sky bridge right here, which is one of the cool details. Again, connecting the main house to this section of the home. Exterior door access that gets you into the second floor. And we have the main entry right here. Let's go inside. Here we are at the entry. Beautiful solid wood door. And we have a lot of windows here bringing natural light into the entry of this home. As I'm going up, I want to briefly talk about the staircase design. Beautiful woodwork. It's nice and wide. And here we are at the landing of the third floor. Now, on my left hand side, we have the family room. On my right hand side, we have the kitchen. And right behind me, we have the sky bridge taking us to the other wing of the house where we have the private office, gym and the spa. It's one of the coolest features of this home. In fact, it's right on top of the carport. We're gonna save that for later in the video. Now, let's go this way and check out the family room. On my left-hand side, we have the bar section, and this is where we have the family room. Immediately, let's talk about these roof trusses. We have these exposed beams all connected to each other with these metal plates, bolts, and rods. And the architect of this home left these structural elements all exposed, which gives a lot of character very spacious and cozy room. We have a lot of windows throughout the room. And Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling for a second? I even wanna show all those windows that we have right on the ceiling, bringing natural light in. And let's talk about this massive stone gas fireplace. I mean, look at the size of this thing, incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. And I love all the rustic woodwork throughout the fireplace as well. And this living room area gets access to an outdoor deck. Let's go check it out. This is one of the many outdoor spaces this home has. We have the gas fire pit right here, outdoor seating, a bit of a covered section. I mean, look at the scenery, it's so cool. Yeah, and it's incredibly quiet out here. Uh, we're not really used to it being in LA, so last <laughs> night was our first night staying here and it was uh, it took a little bit of getting used to. No, I know, but it's so peaceful. It's so refreshing. And I mean, views are incredible. And this is the other set of French doors going back in to the family room. Overall, great space, nice and open, fireplace, a lot of stone elements, and these exposed structural elements gives a lot of character to the space. Now, let's go back to the hallway. 
We have the staircase going down to the second floor and the fourth floor. And we are back at the landing. We have another massive gas fireplace here. Beautiful stonework around. This one is actually double-sided. We have the formal dining room area on the other side, a bit of a seating area. And Mikey, let's get a close up. This is the Olympic torch for 2002 Salt Lake Winter Olympics. Yeah, right next to it, we have a signed snowboard from all the American competitors too. As we go around the house, y'all are gonna see there's a lot of cool little like staging elements, kind of arts, art, art pieces around the house. Yeah, exactly. We got a lot of rooms and art to see. Now, as we go to this space, this is where we have the kitchen. Again, we have this beautiful roof truss design also here as well. And when I got a chance to talk with the owner, he mentioned it to me that he was inspired by the mining culture here in Park City, Utah. And he wanted to design a home where he brought some of these industrial elements. Thus, he came up with this exposed roof truss design and he added all these metal plates to give a lot of character and warmth and embrace the history of Park City. Very spacious kitchen. Let's start with the island setup. We have this unique shape. One of the sinks are located right here. Dishwasher, dual elevation, contrasting countertops. Right here, we have the other section of the kitchen with the microwave, plenty of storage. As we go this way, we have the Thermador gas stove, pot filler, and we have Thermador commercial vent right above it. And Mikey, let's actually, can you see right above the kitchen cabinets? It's actually open. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. It's a, it's a unique detail, and I'm gonna explain why they left it that way once we go to the other side of the kitchen. Going this way, I wanna show a detail that I really liked. God bless the soul of this person who came up with this idea. <laughs> Dishwasher that is actually positioned a little bit more elevated from the ground. So when you're loading up your dishes, you don't have to bend down. Yeah, it saves a little energy. And uh, I got to break in here and say real quick that you might hear me or Ennis out of breath through this episode. <laughs> That's because Park City is located 7,100 feet above sea level and we're actually 1,800 feet above Park City. So we're at 8,800 feet right now. That comes out to 89. 89, yeah, well, I'm bad at math, you know. Uh, in, anyway, you're gonna hear us breathing hard, but uh, we're gonna get this done for y'all, so. Uh, we're gonna try. Don't go too hard on us in the comments. <laughs> you guys are never hard on us, but uh, it's a lot of house to tour, but we're very excited. Now, we have a full-size freezer right here, extra storage, built-in ovens, and this is where we have the fridge. And let's go this way for a second. And we have the breakfast nook right here. Kind of like a small kitchenette on this side. One of my favorite details. Dishwasher drawers. You love those dishwasher drawers. I love them. I love them. This is our personal favorite probably. There you go. Ooh, I actually didn't even know that was there, but. There you go, Sub-Zero Ice Maker. I'm gonna use that tonight. And we have another sink. There's three sinks in this uh, kitchen, which is incredible. And we have another fridge on this side. Freezer drawers. And this is the breakfast nook area. Look at the views, incredible. More storage on this side. We have the family room, kind of like a TV area on this side. Before we see that, let's go this way. Let's get some fresh air. So this is an outdoor deck off of your kitchen area. We have the barbecue setup right behind Mikey. Outdoor seating, outdoor dining area. This section is a little bit covered. And I mean, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just enjoy this incredible view. Yeah, it's really nice. So nice, so peaceful. And we have a little bit of snow just mountaintops and it's so peaceful, it's so quiet. All right, now let's go back into the house. And right here we have the TV room, built-ins on this side where we have the TV, two windows above bringing natural light in, casement windows on this side, nice little cozy seating area. And following the hallway, right at the end, we have a powder room right here, conveniently located for the kitchen and the TV room. Now. On my right hand side, we have the staircase going down to the second floor and the first floor. And before we go to the outdoor patio, I wanna show this detail. The left wall, that's kitchen, right? And this hallway has a lot of casement windows bringing natural light in. And they didn't bring the kitchen wall all the way to the ceiling because they wanted to, they wanted to benefit from this natural light coming in and actually filling the center of the home. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you were talking about earlier. Exactly, that's why they kind of left it short. Now. This is pretty cool. Let's go outside. We have this patio space facing the backside of the home. And this is where we can get a closer look at the snow. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, not something we're used to on these tours. No, we're not. But I mean, just look at the scenery. It's so peaceful, 
so cool. And it's nicely clad with stone on the floors. Again, these are the casement windows bringing natural light into the hallway. And we have another slider right here, opening up back to the hallway. Right in front of us, we have the formal dining room area. Nice and spacious, ton of windows bringing natural light in. And we can actually get a closer look at some of these beam and column details of this home. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, and this, this is uh, basically the same ones that we have over the dining room or the, the TV room and the living room. Exactly. And I actually forgot to mention another detail. These were old Great Salt Lake train tracks. Yeah, so they, the Salt Flats about two hours from here, there used to be a train track running through there and, you know, they just pulled them and used them as beams. Isn't it cool? Like your structure of your home is part of history. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. And let's talk about this formal dining room table. Sits 12 people, two chandeliers above. I love that they went with solid wood look. And this is where we have the gas fireplace, double-sided fireplace off of the third floor landing. Yeah, and just imagine, Ennis, we got the head of the table right here. This is where Taylor Swift or Justin Bieber could have sat down and eaten their dinner. I know, I hope it was yummy. <laughs> Overall, this is a great sized room. Again, complementing the third floor of this home. Last part of this floor, we have a powder room right here, complementing the family room. And staircase, like I mentioned earlier, going up to the fourth floor where we have the master bedroom. We're going down to the second floor. In fact, let's go check that out next. We have the second floor landing right here. Nice stone floors, some built-ins. This door opens up to the three-car garage. And right here, we have one of the exterior doors. And that's where we have the motor court. At the end of this hallway, we have two storage closets and a powder room for this part of the home. We kind of have like a little seating lounge area. Very cozy. I love the chandelier above. Again, exposed structural elements. Let's start this way. Let's go toward the bar first. I love how they clad the bar with the uh, reclaim wood as well. Copper countertops. And Mikey, let's come in for a second. You gotta appreciate, even this bar has a dishwasher. I love, I love how they uh, clad that with that kind of rustic looking wood as well. I know, I know, so cool. There you go, you get your fridge, some open shelving, microwave, and wrapping around, bar kind of continues. We have another fireplace on this side. Again, same finishes, clad with stone, with woodwork. In fact, this home actually has eight fireplaces, which is crazy. Although it's over 18,000 square feet, how each space in this house feels very cozy and intimate. This space opens up to the room here where we have the movie theater. Very spacious room. I love how comfortable all the seating looks, dual elevation. We have the projector right here, carpet floors, I love how they clad all the walls with cloth finish. Another seating area here. We have the screen on this side with some built-ins. I mean, it's a cozy, comfortable home theater. Yeah, and it's really nice. They have furs on the ground. They have just one window, but I can imagine sitting in here with the snow falling outside, enjoying a movie or a TV show or something. I know, it's a cozy, intimate setting. And I hope everybody's enjoying the video so far. If you do, make sure to give us a like. If you enjoy our videos and you don't want to miss them, make sure to give us a sub as well. Now, let's get out of the movie theater and this seating area continues into this section right here where we have the pool table, nice and spacious room. We have the recessed lights and this door actually opens up to a bathroom, but this bathroom actually connects to that bedroom. So we'll show it once we get to that bedroom. And now let's take this hallway and continue our tour. And the first room on our right hand side is the kids room. This might be the coolest bedroom in the house. I love how they have all these built in bunk beds, spacious room, high ceilings, and other nice cozy setting. We have some built in closets right here and going this way. This is the bathroom. I just showed it to you guys. There you go. That's where we have the pool table, double vanity setup. I really like these concrete countertops with recycled glass in them and stone floors with mosaic inlay full walk-in shower, water closet right there. Now, let's get out because this bedroom has another bathroom, which is on the other side. Since you have eight kids here, you know, you're gonna need another bathroom. 
water closet, full walk-in shower, same finish as they use the lighter tone concrete countertops here with recycled glass as well. Now, let's get back to the hallway. Right on the other side, we have the mudroom. Now this is a proper mudroom because this is your ski and ski out access right here. So when you come in, you have your skis, you have all your clothes have snow on it. So you're not afraid to get floors wet. That's why they have the stone finish here. You put your gloves here, store all your shoes, all your stuff. And this might be my favorite part. You know, your boots are wet. They have the system right here that blows hot air so you can dry your boots. And the last thing you want is to come out here the next day and have to put your feet in a wet boot. You know? Last thing. And then you go skiing. That's right. Yeah. Let's show that access, Mikey. It's really cool. You go out through this hallway and let's open up the store. Whew, it's chilly. But there you go. Actually, your ski access is kind of right here and you have a catwalk and you come to this edge right here, take out your skis, come up the stairs and access to the house. Yeah. Pretty cool. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We got a lot of walking in this house. And a lot of elevation to run out of breath. I know. Right here, we have the staircase going down to the first level of this home. And I wanted to point this out because once we are done with this level, we're gonna be coming right back here to go to the lower level. Continuing the hallway, we have another hallway here full of storage closets. And at the end, we have the laundry room, two washers, two dryers, plenty of cabinetry for storage. And on this side, we have a full bathroom, vanity set up right here. Now, at the end of this hallway, we have two guest suites. And let's start with this one right here. Again, built-in closets. And this is the bathroom for this guest suite. Again, same finishes, wood tone cabinetry, full walk-in shower, casement windows looking towards the incredible views. And going out, we have the first bedroom right here. Let's immediately focus on this corner. We have four windows, perfectly positioned for the view. We have the bed on this side. I mean, what else do you need? Yeah. Super nice. Now, I really like this section. We have the pocket door right here. Two of these guest suites share this kind of seating area, currently staged as an office. When I had a chance to talk to the owner, he mentioned it to me that he designed this room for his kids to share because he had his kids living on each one of these guest suites. Built-in section right here. Again, views are incredible. We have more built-ins on this side. Another pocket door to seal off. This bedroom right here. Again, it's kind of like a replica of the other bedroom. We have this corner glass detail looking towards the other kind of wing of the house. More incredible views, great ceiling heights, king size bed, casement windows. I mean, all really spacious guest suites. We have all these built-in closets here, and this is the bathroom for the second guest suite. Same style vanity design, and I really like these concrete countertops. They kind of have a retro feel to them. And we have natural stone floors with a mosaic inlay, and they use the same materials for the walk-in shower. Also, I forgot to mention, throughout the whole home, we have heated floors, every single level, every room, every bathroom, which is great. Lastly, really cool detail. I love how they frame the mirror with these skis. Yeah, it's really cool, I like it. And that's it for the second floor of this home. Now let's go back to the staircase and toward the first floor. All right, everyone, here we are at the first floor. I really like how they use the skis as part of the railing and they have this design kind of throughout the home. And on this level, we have three spacious guest suites. Here's a twist. The owners of this home were kind enough to let us stay in this house during the shoot and enjoy Park City for a few days. So the next three rooms we will be seeing are the ones that we're staying in. Let's start with this one first. This is the first guest suite. This is the one I'm staying in. On this side, we have the full bathroom, natural stone countertops with chisel finish. Same wood tone cabinetry is also here. And they use these natural stones around the tub setup as well. And we have a jetted tub with handhelds, everything you need. Now going in, this is where we have the bedroom. Like I mentioned earlier, every single bedroom in this house is very spacious. King size bed, built-in closets, ton of natural light. And we have the slider opening up to the patio space. In fact, let's go check that out next. Ah, it's such a good day. A little crisp, I still only have a t-shirt on, but it's nice. It's super nice. So we have this patio level right here, shared by all three bedrooms that we're gonna be touring. And a little bit of an outdoor space. Again, the views are incredible. I'm just gonna kind of shut up and let you guys enjoy it because it's so beautiful. And going in, this is the guest bedroom number two. So this one is Mikey's room. 
again, very spacious, king size bed, built in closets. And this is where he has his full bathroom. Again, same finishes, natural stone countertops, full walk-in shower. Mikey, what do you think? I'm not complaining. We've been uh, here for several days now and uh, it's, it's really nice. I, I need a humidifier for the air, but other than that, it's great. I know, it's really great. It's very peaceful. I think it's been really good for all of us to stay in this setting here in Park City. Third guest suite, this is where Jason stays. Incredible views. We have the slider again opening up to the patio. Wood elements are also here. Bed is situated on this side. And really, Jason got the biggest bathroom too. Look at this. We have the same natural stone floors with a mosaic inlay all around it. And they use the same stones also in the walk-in shower. Very spacious. And we have casement windows looking towards the view. Darker countertops here, wood vanity. Kind of uniform finishes throughout the home. Now, let's go up all the way to the fourth floor and check out the most important bedroom in this house, master bedroom. All right guys, before we go up to the fourth floor, I wanna briefly reestablish where the master bedroom is. That's the landing of the third floor where we enter the property, formal dining room area, family room, and this staircase is kind of located right in between. Now let's go up to the fourth floor. All right, let's go toward the master bedroom suite. First room on our right hand side is the office. Might be the coolest office ever. We got a ton of built-ins here. Peak where you can see your living room area and some of the exposed beams close by. And we have more windows here looking towards the hillside. This continues and this might be one of the coolest art I've ever seen. Super cool, they have all these circuit boards here, which is very unique. Now, back to the landing. And the second room is where we have the master bedroom. The scale, the volume, and the warmth in this bedroom is incredible. Again, on the ceiling, we have these exposed roof trusses. Gives a lot of character to this bedroom. A lot of picture windows and casement windows, all focused towards the views. I mean, Mikey, let's focus this section. The framing right here, looking towards the hillside, looks incredible. And we have the TV situated right here. Bit of a seating area. A lot of built-ins on each side. And this is where we have the king size bed. Again, a lot of warmth. I like the carpet floors. And overall, you see in this bedroom for the views. Doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, we have a door opening up to the master closet. Again, very spacious. We have a ton of built-ins on this side. Bit of an island section right here. More built-ins on this side, hangers, drawers. Now, we have another door right here opening up to the master bathroom. But let's check this detail first. Wash and dryer, convenience, I love this. That's nice, right next to your closet. There you go. Now, we have the master bathroom here. We're gonna talk on that later. Sorry, master shower. Heated towel rack, you gotta have it. Oh yeah. Now, first vanity on this side. Mikey, I don't know if you can show this view. Look at this view from the sink. It's incredible. And actually, while you're there, you can see the roof. A bit of a snow. Still have a little bit of snow. It's on the shady side, so it hasn't melted yet. But yeah, it's really nice. And they have the same polished concrete uh, countertops also here, a bit of a makeup area. And here's the detail I would like to point out. There you go, Mikey. Can you get a close up right here? Every single vanity plug, they paint it with the same color as the concrete countertops. I actually didn't even know what you were talking about for a second because I couldn't see it. Every single one of them, so cool. We have wall sconces here, same wood tone cabinetry, natural stone floors, and we have the jetted tub section right here, built in mosaic steps, and they use the same concrete countertops to clad the jet. Again, incredible views. We have all these picture windows focused towards the view. We get a balcony setup right here, which is really cool. Another vanity setup, again, plugs are perfectly blended into the countertops and right in the center, let's focus here, we have the walk-in shower. I don't need to go in there, but it's massive. We have the rain head, handheld, steam, everything you need. Lastly, this part, let me turn on the light. We have the water closet. And we are back at the landing of the master bedroom. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can take partial ownership of this house for $4,250,000. So why don't we go downstairs, briefly talk about that, then go check out the sky bridge and other wing of the house. Now, let's talk about Picasso. Picasso is a new real estate service where you can buy, sell, and own a share of a second home like this one and enjoy true ownership benefits for less cost and pretty much no hassle. Picasso is actual real estate property ownership not like a resort timeshare, buyers co-own a single family home with no more than eight owners. How does it work? 
from setting up the ownership structure, bringing together co-owners, property management, interior design, and owner app to book the dates you would like to stay, Picasso takes care of everything for you. You can take a look at their current listings on their website, find a home you love, and purchase a share. Shares are one eighth to one fourth ownership. Overall, it's a very unique real estate service that makes second home ownership way more accessible for more people. To learn more about Picasso, you can visit their website at picasso.com. I'll also leave their information down in the description. Now, we have the sky bridge right behind me. Let's go check it out. We're back at the third floor landing. That's the staircase. And let's talk about this sky bridge design. It's right on top of the carport. It's a really cool space. The idea behind this bridge is to change your mood and kind of leave the house behind you and go to this section of this house. Same structural elements are also here. While we have all these windows bringing natural light in, we also have great views to look at on both sides. That's where we have the motor court. And that bridge takes us to the best outdoor space this home has to offer. Before we go there, why don't we go downstairs, check out my favorite room in this house, the office. All right, now we have these rustic doors opening up to the office. And on the other side, we have this exterior door opening up to the carport. That's our Denali right there. So you can come straight to the office. Let's go check it out. A lot of warmth with all the wood details. I love this built-in section. More built-ins on this side. I mean, look at it. You get a little fridge. What else do you need? We've been here for a few days and I've been wondering where you are. This is where you've been hiding, huh? This is where I stay. I mean, this is where I spend most of my time. I love how secluded it is. Mikey knows this well. I like to work in peace. I like to stay focused on my work. So, I mean, I would die to work in an office like this where this is my view. Yeah, yeah, uh, really nice in here. Agreed. So, right below us, we have the gym complemented with a powder room. And the level below that is a spa area where we have a steam shower, sauna, all opening up to an outdoor space where we have the spa in the center, a lot of stone details, and it's another nice private outdoor space here in this house. Now let's go back up and check out the sun deck. All right, let's talk about this outdoor space. We have natural stone floors, outdoor seating area, fire pit in the center, and it's all about these incredible views. I mean, look at it. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. I don't know if y'all can see, but behind Innes, we have a uh, part of the uh, ski terrain. So you can see the little trails. We don't quite have enough snow for them to be open yet, but uh, all around us, we have uh, ski lifts and we have trails for you to ski or snowboard on. Yeah, I agree. It's so peaceful and tranquil, and I'm glad we made the effort to drive all the way out here and tour this incredible property here in Park City, Utah. And now let's spend a few more minutes and learn a little bit about the city and the region. Park City is a global destination for outdoor adventures, luxury seekers, art and cultural enthusiasts, and even some Hollywood elite. The town retains the aesthetics of its early silver mining days, and the century-old buildings nestled between mountains create a ski village with an old world, almost fairytale-like quality. Park City's natural and architectural beauty are complemented by an array of cultural activities. Most prominently, the Sundance Film Festival, which brings thousands of independent filmmakers, aspiring artists, and Hollywood moguls to Park City's main street every year. Adjacent skiable train includes 7,300 acres of powdery slopes, 300 trails, and 41 lifts across the Wasatch Range, making Park City the largest ski resort in the United States. The summer heat doesn't dim the fun either. Melting snow reveals hot springs, endless forest trails through which to hike, bike, or ride horses. Park City has been deemed one of America's most beautiful towns by virtually every travel magazine, and it's not hard to see why. It's a bustling, cute winter town by day and a dreamy winter wonderland by night. The house we just toured is situated in a private community called The Colony at White Pine Canyon, which overlooks the whole town. At night, the surroundings fade away into a tranquil darkness that you can't find in any city. The home comes alive with a soothing orange light with all the fireplaces warming the state. It's one thing to see the home through the screen, but to spend time exploring the surroundings and experiencing the home during the day and night gives us a newfound appreciation for this wonderful town. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. We've been planning to tour homes outside of California for a while now, and Park City was our first choice. Next week, we're going to Lake Tahoe, California. We're going to tour an incredible mansion there. If you don't want to miss that, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell. Also, if you want us to tour homes in other states or countries, leave us a comment down below. And before we end this video, I want to thank Picasso for inviting us out here, allowing us to stay in this incredible home and share it with all of you. I want to thank the listing agent. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week in Lake Tahoe.